Chef is back. 15 of the country's most talented chefs have traveled to Houston to compete in one of the most diverse cities in the nation. Hot stop! It's a hot kitchen in here. Well, that was a little taste of season 19 of Bravo's Emmy Award winning show Top Chef. And this season, H Town serves as the perfect setting for an unforgettable culinary showdown. One of the contestants who will be on home turf, she's Houston native, Evelyn Garcia, who joins us to dish as much as she can about the new season. <laughs> it's so great to see you, Evelyn. Thank you so much for having me. I'm definitely very excited to be here, and it's, it's premiere night. It's, it's yeah. premiere night, <laughs> and what's crazy is we're, uh, we were kind of watching you watch that clip, and you're doing this. <sighs> I was like, oof. I mean, it's like, it's like the blood pressure is already rising. It took you right back to those moments. Yeah, it's like, PTSD of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you are not new to being in the kitchen. Yeah. What was this experience like when you have the cameras and the lights and the pressure of a televised competition? Were you nervous the whole time or were you able to sort of set that all aside? Oh, absolutely. Um, I feel like to a certain extent I had to just ignore that there was just lights and cameras all around me at all times. But it was definitely just an extra layer of just being nervous, like, okay, I know how to cook, but like now you have this pressure, you have the time, you, you have all these restrictions. So it was definitely a lot more added pressure. Um, but thankfully I was just like, okay, I know how to cook, right? Like I'm here for a reason. <laughs> and that's what just kept, on, kept me grounded the whole time. But it was very, very nerve wracking and just a crazy experience. And it's so cool that this is happening, of course, in your backyard. You're the only Houston oh. chef represented in Amazing. season 19. Let's talk a little bit about your your homegrown roots. You went to Cypress Ridge High School, class of 07. Um, what was it? I mean, you know, when you look back, and did you always want to be a chef? I did always want to be a chef. Um, I feel like I was very lucky in the sense that I knew at a very young age that I wanted to pursue a career in, in cooking. And I, I feel like I was just surrounded by it. My parents on my dad's side, um, my grandparents were cheesemakers. And on my mom's side, baker and a cook as well. So it was just always surrounded by it. I was just the first one in my family to really be like, okay, I want to go to school. I want to make it a career and take that step towards that. And Evelyn, your parents owned a Mexican grill restaurant that you worked in. Yeah. You decided to pursue this as a career. You graduated from the very prestigious Culinary Institute of America. These are your parents right now, beautiful Yay. people. They could be your <laughs> siblings. And then you sort of cooked your way through New York City. Uh, talk about the time there and how it influenced your skill set. Yeah, I mean, New York is an amazing city. It's very fast paced. Uh, you got to get with it real quick. Um, it will spit you right out. Yeah. <laughs> and a great food city. Yeah, and it is. I mean, amazing food as well. But for me, you know, going to culinary school out in New York and then taking time to really learn and absorb as much as I could in New York was definitely an objective. I always wanted to come back home. I was like, whatever I open or I start or I create, I want to open it back in Houston. But I wanted to take the opportunity since I was already there to learn as much as I could. That turned into 10 years. Wow. <laughs> Which is so great about New York. You just right. get one opportunity after the other. Um, and it just kept me that long. And I was just like, okay, I think, I think I'm done with the city. I absolutely love it. It has a very special um, part in my heart. But I was just like, I'm ready to go home and really just dive in into starting my own business. And, and you did that. Uh, you returned to Houston. You opened uh, Kin HTX, right? Uh, Southeast Asian inspired concept. Uh, we're a chef and co-owner. You've done pop-ups. I mean, you've done, you've pretty much done it all. What a fun fact, and I want people to understand this too, is in 2014, Top Chef, approached you then when yes. you were in New York City. Yeah, so I had um, competed on Chopped on Food Network. Yeah. And they, you know, because I guess, you know, everybody knows everybody, they reached out and I was just like, I am a child. I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> I was like, I'm just getting my feet wet and I felt like, you know, for me, Chopped was just like, okay, you're headed in the right direction. Like, it was a pat on the back in a yeah. way. It was just like, okay, I made the right decision. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I am where I need to be. And, it, but Top Chef is just like, next uh, level. It's next yeah. level. It's a big commitment. Um, and it's a lot of skill. Like, there's just so much more than just 
just cooking. There's a lot more than just cooking. Oh, yeah. Well, interesting how life works out because from 2014, you sang no to Top Chef to <laughs> 2022, and now it's airing in Houston. When you signed on to the show, you actually had no idea that this was going to be Top Chef Houston. Houston I absolutely not. I was just like, okay, when I first got the call that I was going to be part of it. I was like, okay, all right, we're doing this. You know, <laughs> I've signed on. I'm, I'm taking the time and, and doing this for myself. And maybe like a week before we flew out, um, I find out that we're in Houston. And I was just like, holy crap, <laughs> in the, you know, lack of a better word. Um, I was just so n nervous. I mean, it was just like, oh, well, one, am I the only one? Right. Two, now I'm I'm home. Competing so on home turf. On home yeah. turf. So everybody's looking at you like there's some sort of advantage, but it's still a competition. Right. And let's be honest, you're not going home at night during the. Uh, Absolutely. Not. You know what I mean? You're in, you're sequestered. <laughs> you're in with your people. Um, let's talk about tonight's episode. I know we can't say a whole lot, um, but tonight's episode we have Chef Dawn uh, Burrell. She makes an appearance. Which I'm sure it was lovely to see yes, her too. It was. I'm pretty sure when I come in through the door so I was just like Don oh god <laughs> there's someone I know yeah <laughs> and of course good. she was the prior season's uh finalist so yes. you know they had top three uh there so it's yeah, wonderful she did to amazing see. she really yes. did do you think that because you are Houstonian Evelyn that you had some sort of not advantage but I mean you know the food scene here yeah right? I it, it felt comforting that I do, do know the food scene, you know, I'm just like, you know, they're gonna make me barbecue at some point. Yeah. They're gonna throw some tex mix at me at some point. So it was just like, I had somewhat of an idea because I, you know, this is my scene. I, this is what I eat. This is what I go out yeah. and enjoy as well. So I had somewhat of an idea. I just didn't know in what form or way. I mean, it, at the end of the day, it is a competition, so they like to move things around. <laughs> they do. They like to make you run and sweat. And yes. it's also great, too, to see other local chefs um, yeah. here in, in the episodes as well. Which was nice to just, like, come out. I'm like, hi. A little here. soft wave. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's super cool. Evelyn Garcia, we are so proud of you. Thank and you. it was fun for us to see a little bit of the behind the scenes. We I can't wait to that. watch it on television. And tonight, I know you've got butterflies. Oh. You're going to be great. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yeah, tonight's about on. watching it, um, and then tomorrow we're partying. Tomorrow we're throwing the whole party. We're actually doing an event at um, Stomping Grounds in the Heights or Greater Heights, and from six and ten tomorrow, and that's when we're gonna have live music, mariachi. I'm gonna be cooking. Sasha's gonna be there cooking. Oh, so cool. we're throwing the house out the window tomorrow. Today is just like trying to absorb it all in. Right, you gotta sit and watch it. You yeah. haven't seen anything. I have not. <laughs> Enjoy every <laughs> moment you. and give your parents a hug from us. Thank you. Great Thank to you see so you much. and congrats. As a reminder, Top Chef season 19 premieres tonight at 7 p.m. on Bravo and brand new episodes will be available every single week on Thursdays. And if you'd like more information, you can visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. After the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show, including stars from the hit crime video series Reacher. And as we head to break, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight. Hey, Kevin.